So this is an example where the department working with the city realized we needed to do something that was going to be unique uh, for the community of Fort Worth. Something that would, could be done quickly to eliminate the impact on the community and be cost efficient. I would say that the heart of the bridge design is the integration of aesthetics and engineering. This bridge is a bit of a breakthrough both from the artistic standpoint and for technology. Well, we wanted to make a bridge that was worthy of this site. And so one of the things that we did was come in and use a network arch, but we used it in a way that other people haven't used it. Frequently there's widely spaced hangers. We wanted a nice thick metallic mesh so that would create a screening effect for the lights. It would create a more of an architectural interest. We chose a through arch so the pedestrians and the motorists on West 7th could experience the arch. If we had deck arches, they would have driven over the structure and never known that they were on an arch bridge. We wanted to do a precast arch because we could build the bridge quicker and stay out of the motorist way. The arches are the main load carrying member. The diagonal hangers bring the load from the roadway deck up into the arch and then the arch serves as a compression member in driving that force into the columns. we go. Come on, there we go. All right, that's good. That's good. Good, good, good. Okay. On three, we're going to pick it up and twist it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Twist it. Got it, thank you. All right. Thanks, sir.